we might have to drive one day and 18 hours straight. Yeah. Ooh, when it turns right, I light up and ride off in sunsets and Corvettes. Like I'm the plug and you don't know. Oh, why, why, why? I do these things and I don't know. Just trying to go and prove myself to be one of the best I can. Yeah, I wouldn't want to let. What's going on, NAF gang? It's your girl, Ricardo, with the NAF fam, back with another video. If this is your first time tuning in, what you doing? Go ahead and smash the subscribe button right now, you guys, and don't forget to turn on our bell so you can get a notification every time we get a new banger dropping, you guys. And yep, it's me. It's really me, Ricarda, with my hair down for once because I've been rocking this lame old mom bun for way too long because I really never never feel like doing my hair and i'm always doing so many different things if i was to have my hair done and nicely i'm gonna destroy it really quickly because i do way too much work in the house silly stuff getting in the pool yeah i just don't wake up like some of these other chicks picture perfect i don't even know how they do it but yeah as you can see i still didn't do anything with my hair all i did was take a shower deep condition it and boom here i am but i'm not gonna lie to you i had to give this big old forehead i got a break from this mom bun that i've been rocking for like ever so yeah this is the reason why i got my hair down today just gotta do something different you know i gotta take care of myself and yeah Anyways, if you're wondering why I'm sitting in my closet right now, it's because I'm hiding. No, not really. No, I am hiding. I guess from the kids to catch a break. I'm playing with you guys. I'm sitting in my closet because I'm finally facing my fears and I'm finally facing what I have been avoiding for the longest. It's time for me to get rid of the old and bring in the new. I really need to go through my closet and what you're seeing in the background is not even half of it. It's so much stuff and I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. I've been keeping some of the stuff since Germany which was like 10 years ago. Some of the things that I own I can't even fit them anymore because I'm fat now. I mean, I'm not really fat. I only gained like five or 10 pounds over the last two or three years. I need to go to the gym like ASAP. Maybe change my diet. I don't know. I got to figure something out. But I've been holding on to some of the stuff that I have forever. Thinking that maybe one day I'm going to like it again. Or maybe one day I'm going to be able to fit it again. I've literally had some of the stuff so long that... I'm used to having it now and I feel like a piece of me is missing if I get rid of it. Even though I haven't worn it in like 10, 15 years, I don't know. It's time to get to cleaning and I have some crazy news for you guys. So this move from South Carolina to Washington State is literally one of the biggest moves that me and Dante did as a family. The first big move that we did was coming from Germany here to the United States. The military handled everything so it was actually a pretty easy move. The army paid for the flights from germany here to the united states and shipping all of our household goods and all of that stuff so it was actually a pretty easy move considering that we moved from one country to another but this time even though we are staying within the united states and just moving to washington it's not that easy this time you guys so i'm gonna share some insane news with you here in just a second but before i get into that video it's really time to get started on this closet. So I'm gonna take you guys with me while I'm doing this. Let's go. So I got this trash bag right here. I guess I'm about to get started with sorting out. I'm still over here procrastinating just, ugh. I really don't feel like doing this, but now that I started this vlog, this is just a motivation for me to finish it. Let's go.
all right, so I made progress. Wait, I'm not getting rid of this, of course, but here's my pile. It's a lot more than what it looks like if I'm looking at my clothes, but I guess it looks less. So I am getting rid of a bunch of stuff, everything that's laying here, pretty much. I hope that's gonna be enough, but now I gotta try and get this into the bag. Obviously, I'm probably gonna need more, but we're making progress though. We're making progress and I'm getting really hot. I'm sweating. I did some hard work, you guys, but let me hurry up and clean up this stuff so I can share the crazy news with you guys. Let's go. All right, you guys, I'm finally getting a chance to sit down. While I'm talking to you guys, I'm about to get rid of some really old jewelry that I either have not worn in forever. Some of it I've never even worn before. And some of it has been sitting here for literally no reason. Like I got single earrings over here because I lost the other one. And some of them really been sitting here for like two years or three longer for no reason. Like the lost earring is going to come back one day and it never came back. So got to throw some of these things here away while I'm talking to to you guys and let you guys know what's going on like i told you guys before moving to washington is our biggest move ever since coming to the united states from germany we are really excited about that and nervous at the same time we thought that the move from south carolina to washington is going to be just as simple but we were wrong you guys because when we lived in germany and we moved back to the united states all of our things were shipped all of our furniture plates cups bedding i mean literally everything including our cars so now that we are staying within the united states they are not going to ship our cars which means that the cars would get shipped but only if we are going to pay for it ourselves now we got two cars my car dante's car and his motorcycle so we got a total of three transportation vehicles that we need to get to washington state and it can cost anywhere from 900 to two thousand dollars sometimes even more yeah obviously we're going to need our cars you guys so i think that what we're going to do is which is kind of like our only option we might have to drive i drive in my car dante is going to either drive his car all the way to washington but he has an older car like he kind of has a hoopty that we use for like transporting big items like christmas tree big old tvs furniture whatever we need and um it's coming it comes in really handy if you got a truck <sighs> and since dante's car is older his car might not make it through the move and when i'm saying this drive is not short you guys it literally takes one day and 18 hours straight if you drive there without stopping which obviously that's impossible because for one you have to eat you can't drive for 43 or 44 hours straight so you're gonna have to stop somewhere to sleep to get gas of course so it's gonna be a super long drive, but that's really the only way to do it without spending six to $10,000 to get all of our vehicles shipped while the military movers are shipping all of our stuff. So I think we're gonna have to drive. I'm driving in my car and Dante might drive a truck with a trailer that he's going to load his truck onto and his motorcycle. So it's gonna be crazy. And at the same time, we're going to have to drive through several different states all the way from driving through South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, I think part of Kentucky, if I'm not mistaken, Nebraska, Missouri, uh, South Dakota, Wyoming, Idaho, Utah. We're driving across the whole United States. So that's kind of crazy, but it's cool at the same time because we're getting to see so many different states, weather and scenery, things or states that we've never seen before and may not even get to experience again. I think it would be a cool trip, but guys, we got a dog too. And then of course the kids. So hmm. you guys, if you are military or you know somebody in the military that has been through such a huge move, Comment down below and let us know how that went for you or what you think about it. What would you guys do if you were in that situation? You have the option to either pay a few thousand dollars to get all of your vehicles and transportation shipped. Would you just go ahead and figure it out and just drive there so you can take all of your 
vehicles with you basically for free you just have to go on that huge trip so yeah i want to know what you guys think dante doesn't really think much of it he's actually at work right now he should be home any minute now but he's not too impressed with the thought of having to drive literally for three or four days including stopping somewhere to get some sleep and eat it just has to be planned very well i hope the kids don't drive me crazy if we're going to drive with a truck that has dante's motorcycle in it and a trailer carry dante's truck you gotta think about all of the state's environment that we're driving through it could be raining it might even snow around october we might have to drive through mountains up and down and those are the news that i wanted to share with you guys it looks like instead of flying we will be driving i'm done for now with sorting out my missing and broken jewelry i guess i have to go on and find my next project to do in the house i do feel better you throw away stuff and get rid of things that you don't need anymore it definitely makes you feel better it makes you feel more organized if only i would be that organized with my hair and have the motivation to actually do something with it would be a lot better you know all right you guys so that was it with today's video make sure that you leave me a really big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you would like to see in the future do you want to see more a day in your life challenges pranks whatever it is drop it in the comments down below so we can go ahead and create that fun content for you guys and i'm just now realizing how greasy i'm looking again like i literally look super greasy in every single video but that's probably because I use a lot of face creams and facial masks because I don't like wearing makeup. Like I literally don't wear any makeup or other than doing my eyebrows and my eyes. Trying to keep my skin clean and fresh and trying to get that glow. But I always look super greasy. Anyways, that's completely off topic, you guys. Gosh, I like to talk way too much today. I have not even told the kids yet that we're probably gonna have to drive all the way from South Carolina to Washington and literally be stuck in a car for 43 or 44 hours straight or even longer than that because we have to eat and sleep somewhere. So that's gonna be crazy. If you wanna see their reaction, make sure that you got that subscribe button on and the bell for post notifications because I will be letting the kids know about this in tomorrow's video. And I really want you guys to be there to see their reaction because I don't know what they think about having to do that long trip. That's crazy, but anyways, make sure that you guys are there. With that being said, I'm gonna end this video and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.